and welcome back to another edition of Flight Tying for Beginners with Jim Mishura. Today I'm going to tie a mini gurgle bug. Gurgle bugs are really good. Mini one would be for panfish, bluegills, and the such. The hook that I have in the vise, this is a standard Mustad number 10 hook. I'm going to use black thread and we're going to put that base of thread down and we're going just to come to just to where it gets to the point of the hook. A couple more turns there. Okay. Oh. Got a little bit of Yep, yeah, a couple more turns even. Okay, now for the tail, I'm going to take some dark deer hair and not very big, maybe when you pull it together, maybe half the size of an ink pen tube, the inside of it. I'm not going to even these out or anything, we're just going to leave them the way they are. Take the short ones out and we'll make that tail about the length of the hook shank. We're going to tie that in. Going to trim off that excess. This isn't going to have a weed guard. I have a video on making the gurgle bug with a weed guard. But since this is, I'm going to use this for the bluegills, I don't need a weed guard. And also, since you're going to use this for bluegills, you can make this just about any color you'd want. Now I'm going to take a few strands of crystal flash. I'm going to use some black crystal flash, but just a couple. I'm not even going to cut it off the clump yet because I'm using such a small amount. Just three I have here. Just get them secured, get them right on top. And now I'll cut them off. And you want them to be three quarters the length of your hairs. That's plenty just to give it a little bit of sparkle there. And now the foam. Here, I, this is Evasut foam. This is a gray foam. And here is the sticky back foam. And you can see the difference in the size there. You can make them with the sticky back foam. You can put a couple of them together. But personally, they don't float quite as well as this here. You can see they're nice uh, open cells or not necessarily open but you can tell it's a nice it's more soft and stuff. But I cut a strip that was about 3 8 of an inch. I put a small dart on there. We're going to tie that in and you want that foam to go to where you're going to tie the head off which is about one eye length from the eye of the hook. Pull down sl slowly and then you can tighten that up a bit. Now I'm going to make open spirals palmer that thread forward get a little bit, try to keep it pretty even and then we'll get that catch that last piece in there I'm gonna go back there we go and now we're going to add the hackle I'm going to use a grizzly hackle I'm going to tie this in by the tip And you can actually give this a haircut. You can stand it up. Cut off that tip and give that the crew cut. Oof. 
try to grab them and pull them a little bit back there we go we're going to tie that in right on top and it doesn't matter if you leave a little bit of the crew cut exposed or not on this one go forward try not to catch any of the hackle barbels and now we're going to, to wrap this hackle and I'm going to do an extra turn there just to make sure that I have the some hackle on the bottom and we'll bring that forward give it a turn right in front and we're going to tie that in this is actually a pretty easy fly go ahead and trim off that excess And now we're going to take our foam and we're going to fold that over. You could kind of push the hackles a little bit to, to each side there. And I'm going to squeeze it here in the middle just to kind of give myself a little bit of stability. Put a couple of wraps and then kind of pull it tighter. Kind of pull that tighter. Now we can put a few wraps in front and kind of tie a head there just to hide that hook a little bit. Go ahead and give it a whip finish. I'm going to turn it over. I've got a few on the front there. I'm going to block everything and get them with my lighter. Put a little bit of head cement on there. And I'm going to leave that plow just the, the, the height that it is. You can trim it down a little bit if you'd like. You can trim it completely off and it makes it a diving bug. But here you have a mini Gartside Gurgler. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Please visit my sponsors. If you'd like to purchase any of my flies, go to Etsy.com slash shop slash the flyman gym and most of all thank you very much for watching my videos